and welcome to this brief Agile Point platform overview. As you may know, Agile Point is a leader in the intelligent digital process automation space that empowers the world's largest enterprises to build and maintain business applications at massive scale. Now for today, we're going to focus on a few of the application development components of the platform. But before we get started, let's orient you and give you a sense of what you're seeing on screen. Here I have the Agile Point platform homepage, and as you'll see later in the video, we can completely replace this with your own customized user experience. Across the top, you're seeing the various modules that comprise the platform, the work center or primary work management area of Agile Point for end users, the manage center to govern your applications and your Agile Point tenant, the Automation Designer, where we'll spend the bulk of our time today. The Page Builder, as we alluded to just a moment ago. An Analytics and Dashboarding module. Collaboration among application designers and end users. As well as Agile Point's App Store, with 60-plus pre-built application templates, accelerators, and layouts. So with that being said, let's start with the Work Center and give you an idea how Agile Point provides total task management and work management for your end users. Okay, so here you have Agile Point's Work Center, a comprehensive work management system. And what you're seeing on screen here is a snapshot of my to-do list. So that when I log in in the morning, I get a full view of all of the items that are allocated to me and various ways to prioritize that work list. So here's that overview that I referred to with the current tasks by status, as well as a breakdown of when those tasks will become due. Down below, you'll see various functionality to help me plan out my day, a task planner that gives me the ability to remind myself to attend to Agile Point tasks, start new requests or applications, as well as any other item that I might need to take care of in a given day. So as you can see here, I have a reminder to action a task, to launch a new request, as well as an offsite meeting. I can easily manage my day by clicking the plus icon and then selecting my task type. So for instance, if I wanted to launch a new request, I would simply select app, select the application from the list, give it a name, and then set a reminder time. Now the watch list enables me to follow along with the execution of an application, whether I'm a participant in that application or not. Think of managers, supervisors, department heads, etc. So if I take this invoice processing example, as you can see here, I have the ability to easily view the current status of the application. In this case, the process has completed, but it would give me a real-time view of the current active step in this business process with the ability to easily drill in to all of the details. What's more, I have easy access to all of the data captured by this application. By that I mean here, I'll pull up a form showing all of the data that's been entered into this app at a particular point in time. Beyond the, o beyond the overview, you'll see here, I can always dig into my task list. Again, showing this based on current status of these requests. As you can see in this case here, I have quite a few that are overdue, none that are currently assigned to me, and one that is in a new status. Assuming I have time to action this request, I would simply drag it and drop it into my bucket. And as a result, this task item would drop off the work queue of my colleagues. Should I decide down the line that I don't have time for this request, I can always drop it back and release it back to the pool. Now for any one of these, I have a number of actions that I can take. The process viewer that we showed you just a moment ago, the ability to open the task or reassign it to someone else.
I also have quick access to all of the applications that I have permission to. As you can see here, Agile Point is showing me both frequently used applications as well as a complete list of all applications. Down below, you'll see productivity statistics. This is giving me insight on my throughput on both an individual task basis as well as on the process side, showing me areas of inefficiency and where process improvement might be enacted. Next, that brings us to Agile Point's Automation Builder. Now here, I can build processes of varied scale and complexity, from simple workgroup automation to enterprise-wide processes that span external to your organization. Now, Agile Point has made the composition of these end-to-end -end processes as easy as possible. We've done so with a large connector framework to enable you to compose automation via point and click. Now here, you'll see that Agile Point seamlessly fits into any technology landscape by providing more than 70 off-the-shelf integrations into common enterprise systems. Things like Salesforce and SAP, NetSuite, databases, digital signatures, and document automation. Now what you'll find here is that not only is there great breadth of integration, but across each, they're all quite deep enabling me to easily interact with these systems without understanding any of the underlying complexities. In addition to integration, Agile Point has a variety of common process attributes, things like conditions to control the process flow, email notifications to keep stakeholders informed, and the ability to build complex process via the subprocess utility. In addition, Agile Point provides a wide variety of human task types to enable any sort of process logic that is easily developed solely via configuration. As I'm building my applications, Agile Point is documenting my application logic. As you can see here, I have the ability to generate a report about my application, which gives me everything I need to know, how the logic was implemented, who the actors are in the various steps of my process, and generally, how do I get from step one, two, through the end of my process? Now, complementing the automation designer is the user interface component. Now, here you're seeing a responsive HTML5 and jQuery form that was built without writing a single line of code, including CSS. Agile Point has shipped a beautiful base forms theme with this release, which builds upon the 70 plus easily configurable user interface elements that we call controls. Let's walk through those controls briefly. Here you'll see things like text boxes, radio buttons, drop down lists, file uploads if I'd like to attach a file as a part of an application, as well as repeating elements, things like subforms and grids. I can easily configure lookups to external systems and leverage all of these pre-built controls which are meant to handle specific use cases or particular data types, meaning that I don't need to write regular expressions, I simply configure the desired behavior directly on my form. Now in addition to laying out the form, I can always bring in logic at multiple levels of my application. Here you're seeing a control level rule. At the top, I build my condition, and then when that condition is met, the actions that I'll be taking. So as you can see here, I can have a dynamic form by showing and hiding elements based on user inputs, execute scripts or methods, look up data to external systems, and the like. Now if I need more complex logic, I can simply add multiple rules or chain them together to meet the most stringent of business requirements. In addition to the control level rule builder, Agile Point also has an application wide builder. In this scenario, I would build my logic the exact same way, but the primary difference being more control over when those rules fire.
Now we did mention that Agile Point is a responsive interface designer. So as you can see here, I can always bring up my form in preview to understand how this will look in various device types and orientations. This is also a great way to test my logic without needing to deploy my application. So as you can see here, I can test this from a browser perspective. And similarly, from a tablet or mobile phone standpoint. Now the responsive nature is going to take care of a lot of the heavy lifting here. But for any one of these, I can always take a given device in a specific orientation and optimize it per my requirements. This brings us to Agile Points Page Builder, a way to completely replace the default user experience simply via drag and drop. As you can see on this page, it includes a menu to navigate to different Agile Point modules or Agile Point pages for that matter. And on this page, a mixture of both Agile Point components and other types of media. I have buttons here to launch Agile Point applications or reports. As you can see here, I've embedded the reports directly on the page. And from a design perspective, it's very straightforward to begin building out your own custom page. As you can see here, I've just added a row on my page. And from there, I can add a new widget. And these widgets break down into various categories. From a content perspective, you've seen buttons. I can also host snippets of Agile Point eForms, apply styling, hyperlinks, and embed Agile Point's task list. Underneath media, I can add audio, video, and images, various card layouts, and the layout of the page itself. And then lastly, the ability to add a report part, where an Agile Point report or dashboard can be hosted on one of these custom pages. Now there's lots more within the platform that we didn't have time for in this video. Please feel free to take a look at our training site for more details on how the Agile Point platform can help transform your business. That concludes the content for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.